So I was called to diagnose this vehicle. Whenever you walk like you are in a cave, it begins to hesitate. So I'll go to the ABS and check if everything is okay. Um, let me check the live data and check the steering angle sensor. Because normally when you are in a cave and the car is hesitating or is trying to brake, it could be a fault from the steering angle sensor. So with this one I'll check and you can see the steering angle sensor is around 359. Negative 359. That means even if I turn the steering, it's not at zero while the steering is at center. So what I'll do is, it's not at zero when the steering is at the center. So what I'll do is I have to recalibrate it again. So now what I'll do is I'll wait so you can see it's now th negative 350 when so what I'll do is I'll go to service now you go to brake system and steering angle calibration but you can also go to hot function and find it there so now what I'll do is it's asking me to shut off the engine and turn the ignition on that's the ignition on position 2. So we'll wait for the system to stabilize before we start the calibration. The machine will start the calibration. So after that, you can get it in hot function also. So whenever you are driving, it asks you to turn off the ignition and turn it back on without starting the vehicle. So you just click on OK, communicate, and now you're about to start the procedure. So you straighten the steering, and while the steering is straight, so what I'll do now is I'll continue with the calibration and let it stabilize. So to ask you to wait, and it will be using the routine procedure. So now it is complete. So the moment it's complete, it asks me to turn off the ignition and turn it back on so that it starts the clearing process so now it, but it didn't give me any faults so now what I'll do now is I'll wait for the calibration to be done and within complete and it is done so it will be done for the second time as you saw, but now it's about to erase all the fault code, so it asks me to turn ignition on again. So now it's reading the fault code in the system, and it's going to clear them after it has read the fault code. So with this thing, when it happens, when you are driving and you are passing through a curve, that's where you feel like the car is breaking for you and other things because of the position of the steering and the speed at which you are moving so the, the ABS tries to engage because he sees you are turning whilst you are trying to speed so it tries to prevent any traction so you can see now the fourth code is erased successfully so it asks me to turn so this one you just be passing through turn off turn on like the way Ford does you have to turn off, turn on, turn off, it's a whole headache. So you wait for the system to initialize. Then it'll be done soon. So the whole process will be complete soon. So now it's asking me to turn on the key again. Then I'll wait for it to communicate. It's now reading the fourth code again. Now you check or your lights if they are off so module co control module process complete turn off then it will ask you to turn it on like honda and for another thing so now what i'll do is i'll go to abs and go to live data and see the position of my steering angle sensor what before i turn the steering and see if it is working it is working although all it needed was a calibration so i'll go to live data and check the steering angle first it used to be in negative 360 so now let me see the position now it's in negative 2 point, uh, 0.2 so i'll turn the steering i'll start the vehicle first and turn the steering and now it's reading perfectly 
that means that problem is fixed it was due to the steering angle sensor thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos and now everything is working perfectly